All week long, News 18 has been reporting on some of the changes to this year's upcoming Taste of Tippecanoe that will be taking place on Saturday, and we're all excited for that. And one of the biggest changes involves trading in the usual dynamite for a more dynamic display. News 18's Cameron de Blasio explains what people will see this weekend on the Tippecanoe County Courthouse. We're really excited to do this on such a monument. You know, it's like a very monumental occasion for us and it's on a, you know, an important, you know, part of our skyline. For this year's Taste of Tippecanoe, no fireworks like normal. Instead, organizers are preparing to, as they put it, light up the night with a video projection on the Tippecanoe County Courthouse. Taste Director Anfield's monocle says the Arts Federation has tested the idea and is ready to take it to the next level. We had tried this uh, last summer actually on the front of our building, so people may have kind of gotten a taste for what that may look like if they happened by on that first Friday. Um, but we're making it, you know, even bigger by doing two sides of the of the courthouse. Purdue professor Esteban Garcia Bravo has been working with a group of his students to test the projection on this courthouse replica. He says the task of wrapping a building like the courthouse with an animated display has been challenging but rewarding. I had no clue what I was getting into <laughs> uh, because it is a very complex building. Um, but it is also very ideal because it's the color, I mean, it's just white. So it's an excellent surface for this type of experiment. He says all of the visual displays, along with the musical score to go with them, have been created in Tippecanoe County. It's a journey through space that then brings you into the natural surroundings. And then is there will be some sort of like abstract experiences that play a little bit with the geometry of the building. Garcia Bravo, who attended Purdue and immigrated to the United States from Colombia, believes this display will showcase the high level of artwork being produced in Greater Lafayette. You can just make it happen here in this town. I think that, that, that it gives people some hope that this is a really good place where a lot of really good things happen. Reporting in Lafayette, Cameron de Blasio, News 18. That'll be so cool to see. And Garcia Bravo says the light show will take place shortly after sundown, so that'll be about 920 in the evening. And the show itself will last about 20 minutes. And he says the projectors will continue to show artwork on the courthouse until the taste ends at midnight.